close by. Blau Baradero, Blau, Blau, couple over there, and all of you, the rest of you, Royal Tour. Okay? By the way, thank you really so much for coming to my country. Actually, in the order to, th to thank you for coming, you could be singing the way if you want it. Anyway, it's cloudy. I don't know if you know the most famous song in Cuba, the most popular song in Cuba. Hmm? Have you been here before? So, come on. Which is the one that you have heard at least 10 times? It's like the national anthem. Have you heard that song? You could be singing it if you wanted that song. Any, actually, let me let me make a test. Any any of you know what is the meaning of that? I mean, the song Guantanamera, Guajira, Guajira, Guantanamera. What is that? Huh? No idea? Guantanamera, Guantanamera, or Guantanameras. Yes. That is ladies, women living in a province in Cuba, Guantanamo. Guantanamo is actually to the east, eastern of you, Guantanamo. By the way, that is a famous province because there is something there. What is there? Prison. U.S. U.S. prison, U.S. base. Guantanamo Bay. You heard that? So when 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 you're living there, then you are Guantanamera or Guantanamero for the, for the man, for the man. Okay. What about Guajira? What is Guajira? Listen, that is English language. It's not Spanish language, actually. So you are English, or well, you speak better than English. So you let me know what is Guajira. It's English. It is? Let me say better. War heroes. War hero. War hero. Now make sense? This is the way that we have in Cuba to name countryside people. When you're a countryside, when you're a farmer, then we name you as Wahiro or war hero. Real way to, to say. This is coming from, you know, 1800 when the U.S. introduced troops in Cuba to help us against Spani the Spaniards. They named most of the people fighting, most of the people, you know, most of the people involved in the fight, they were, they were farmers. So that's why the U.S. named them war heroes, war heroes. So you already know a little bit at least about the song. Oh, well, where we are? We are not in Guantanamo. We are in Matanzas. It's the name of this province. Actually, it's uh, all this. But uh, there is a peninsula up, up there. Okay? And Matanzas is coming from Matar. M-A-T-A-R. That is the Spanish language. What is the meaning of that? Any of you know a little bit of Spanish language? Close it. Close by. You're close. Not really. Fight is lucha, lucha, lucha. What is what is matar? What is matar? Any 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 Spanish? Thing? You should not be Spanish, you know, for, for Cuba. Let's say for example baños. You know baños? Yeah. What is that? Bathrooms. Cerveza? Beer. You should know this both at least. If you know if you know beer, cerveza, you should know bathrooms because when you drink one you pee two. So so matar or matanzas is like killing, like massacre. So me as a true guy have to say welcome guys to massacre province. That may, you know, that is crazy, but it's, it's a name actually, it's a name. There are two versions. One is it's named or was named like that because in Spanish when they tried to get the land native living here, they killed them. They killed them. And the other version of really uh, let's say popular is the other way around. The Spaniards kill native in this area. Let me say that it's one of the most important problems in Cuba, where you are, Matanzas. Why? Two big reasons. One of them is the biggest area to find oil in Cuba. Okay? That's why, on the way, actually, we're going to see some oil wells and oil pumps. And the second reason is because Faradero, where are you going? Faradero, my goodness, is not Cuba, actually. Faradero is like Miami without internet. What does it mean? What do you mean? What is the point? There are more tourists there than people live. Population in Faradero, Cubans living there, how many? 10,000. Oh, how many tourists? Nowadays, after after COVID, imagine it's low, low. 20,000. 
problems also. So in case of any revolution, it's gonna win the revolution, tourists. But so you're coming for vacation, right? Good. So uh, people, Varadero, as I said, is nice, nice beach, nice hotels, you know. But it's not Cuba. So if you want to know, obviously, Cuba, Cuban culture, Cuban life, Cuban history, best best choice for you guys is La Habana. By the way, in Spanish language, when you write down the city name, the capital name, then we use the B of boys. We use B of the boys to write the city name Habana, Habana, not Havana. And actually, in Spanish language, the H is mute, doesn't make sound. Habana, La Habana. That is a native name, actually. Native name uh, is like flat, flat. You go to Africa, Africa. Then you find the savannas. What savannas? We get with English. Savannas, really flat areas, lions, no hills. Same meaning. Habana, flat. This is the meaning of 